Hello, little friends. Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back. I am King of the Hill. So, we are going to be doing Dusk Main Necrozma again, but we're going to get started as soon as Wise D24 challenges us. So, let's go. <laughs> So, as we are waiting for YSD to challenge us, we are going to go over the deck a little bit, because why not? Um, so, Duskmane is our boy in this deck. He is the main guy that it's kind of based off of. We're trying to hit those one-hit knockouts, the 220, um, if we really need to go uh, harder. You know, for those uh, Greninjas, we end up getting 230 with a uh, Fighting Fury Belt. If we want to go even harder than that, hit those Metagrosses, those Sogo Leo GXs, we are going to be hitting with Meteor Tempest uh, with a Beast Energy, or perhaps we'll just use Sun Eclipse GX to knock it out. Um, but that's the general idea around playing Duskmane Necrozma, is that it has the numbers here. Um, so that's what we're playing with. We're playing two copies of Duskmane. That's really all we had room for. We could play three, but we'd have to take out Baby Duskmane. And Baby Duskmane is just, like, one of my favorites. Uh, let me check, see if he's going to be sending me a message soon. Okay, he's going to be setting up his OBS in about five minutes, and we'll get started. So, one of my favorite cards right now is Duskmane Necrozma. This one is the Sun and Moon Promo 107, but I think there's two more. And I might have to get those two, or I'll just get, I think it's just one, maybe. I think they both, both boxes have the same promos. Um, I'm not definite, though. But this is one of my favorite cards. Dusk Shot, as it proved in the last match, is super good. You could just uh, trap something in the active. Uh, Dusk Shot, those Ultra Necrozmas, bring them down to 130 HP left. And then Celesteela GX of everything has that 130 vanilla attack that just knocks out those Ultra Necrozmas. And then Rusty Claws is a great backup attack. Like, if your opponent is giving you some trouble, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so what you do usually with uh, that is you, when they have three prizes, you go ahead and Beast Ring onto your Dusk Main, and then they take out another Dusk Main, and you just come in with Rusty Claws and start swinging. And then just, you know, hopefully, I mean, you should be close in the prize race. If you're not, it's, it's, uh, this thing can be difficult to knock out, especially if you're fighting Fury Belt on it. Then it's going to hit for 210, uh, for Rusty Claws, which is good. It, it knocks out, like, every stage, too. So I love this card so much, um, in all forms. I got to check out the other artwork of it, though. Actually, I could probably do that on here, right? Yes, I can. So that's what the other artwork of it looks like. Tell me which one do you guys like better, that one or that one? This one's pretty slick, I might say. I must say, I should say. So that's pretty cool. I might I might have to get that. I might have to get that. Ah, uh, so big boy in the deck is Celestila GX, just like in the VCG. Celestila has that massive HP, uh, 200 HP for a basic. And that's just so powerful. You throw a Fighting Fury Belt on it, it's 240. Under Garbo Lock, like, things just have trouble hitting 240. Um, so what you do is you bait them to use their... Uh, you have floor four float stones, so we bait them to use those Field Blowers on the first two float stones. We throw down another two float stones and the Fighting Fury Belt on Celesteela and Garbo Toxin Lock. And Celesteela with 240 HP, you, you just people are just like... I can't, I can't do it, can't do it. So they just, this concede. A moon press is surprisingly good in this deck, especially when paired with Dust Shot from the Dawn, Dusk Main and the Krasma, sorry. Uh, moving on, we have a Kartana, because why not? It's a metal, it's an Ultra Beast, and we can search it out with Ultra Space, um, which is, <laughs> you've seen, uh, Kartana is getting a lot more play, so this one copy of it is probably going to be going up in trade value. I'm going to start having to see it on the trade trading post. Everybody's going to want my Rainbow Rare Kartana GX. And then a backbone of the deck, something that really helps us get set up, is the Radiant Star uh, 
Sogoli up Prism Star here. Um, it's the only one, only Prism Star in the deck, I think. No, it's not. It's not the only Prism Star in the deck. We added Cyrus. Um, and Radiant Star just gets you set up or gets you recuperated after all your Max Elixir's Beast energies go down. Um, so it's really, what I have difficulty with, though, is holding on to this card until the right moment to play it. Um, I tend to play it early. So, I, like, that's my weakness in this deck, I will say, if someone catches on to it. Um, Tapu Lele, pretty standard. Uh, we play two. We don't use them, uh, but they're there in case of emergencies. So they, that's what we have Tapu Lele for, which makes this a tier one deck, in my opinion. Um, but we, I mean, I'm not definite about that. Um, so we should be getting our challenge from YZD pretty soon. Um, last guy is that Garbodor lock. He is our, uh, we're banking on him for the next uh, three months, guys. We're banking on him. Like, he is the, the thing to have for the next three months. Block all those abilities. Beast Ring, we play three. C or no, we only play two. We play two Beast Rings because we don't really need them. We have those Max Elixirs, but uh, they are good when you get them. Multi Switch is an MVP in this deck. Let you, uh, let you go ahead and switch energies when you need to. That works very well with like these DCEs to get them onto Celesteela or a metal energy to get it onto the Prism Star or something like that. Work pretty well. Uh, Rescue Stretcher is just to, so we can throw away our uh, Ultra Beast and then get him back later in the game. Ultra Ball pretty standard for three Ultra Space so we can get those Ultra Beasts quickly. Um, I usually use it to get out of Dusk Main as a baiter. Uh, four Cynthia for just vanilla good drawing support. Cyrus is sweet in this deck. He is just so detrimental. I actually took out the fourth Guzma and threw on Cyrus and it is just I'm not disappointed at, by it at all. Uh, Cyrus is so good and it just it breaks your opponent. It just breaks them when they're down. Uh, cause I've been doing talking. Uh, N two, two ends just to general draw support. We can end those and our opponent's down to two later late in the game. Three second more for that just we need we we're aggressive with this deck. We're trying to get 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 go go go. Um so Sycamore is a trusted supporter for that. Two Fighting Fury belts for those guys there, just to set them up very well, get them stronger. Four floats because we need floats. Everything is heavy as heck. And look at this! Look at this! Look who's here to play. Um, we just gotta make sure we pick the right deck. Tempest Trash PTBL. That is the PokeTuber Battle League guys. So let's go. The king is ready. Can you beat me? I don't even know what he's playing. Psychic Water Normal. Um, we post our deck list in the Discord early, but I didn't get a chance to check the Discord today for YZD. And look at his sprite. It looks like a wrestler. Ooh, and he gets to choose who goes first. So let's hope Let's hope I do well in this one. We are going to start things off with a Sogaleo, though. Not Sogaleo. It's a Sogaleo, guys. It's a Sogaleo. No, it's a Dusk Main Necrozma. Its main is made of dusk. Um, so we're going to keep the Kartana in case he has any special energies to knock off. I really love Kartana against anything with the beast uh, energy. I just wait for that beast energy to come down and just knock it off. Because there's no way they're getting it back. Oh, he's bringing out the Garbo Lock too, I think. Oh, I've never, I've not seen people really use the Glaceon, but I love it. Second Bite. Does 10 damage for every damage counter on you, so it's good for like a a secondary attack. And then Crystal Ray really blocks evolutions. Luckily, I don't play evolutions, so I don't have too much trouble with the Crystal Ray. Um, oh, and he set me up. Metal Energy. Lele. I don't want a Lele, though. I don't think I want a Lele. I want a Cynthia. I don't have Bridgets or anything. My turn. Metal energy. Um, so unfortunately, we don't have the means to attack yet. Yeah, we'll throw that off. We'll just get rid of it. Um, and I actually do want a Cynthia here. Lele is not really going to do much for me here. Uh, Cyrus does nothing. Ah, I'm stuck. I guess I needed that. I needed that that float stone first turn to throw down onto Duskmane. But I'm glad I got rid of that Devil Colorless. 
So he's trying to uh, ability lock me, but I've used the only ability I'm interested in using. So I don't even have to play my Garbodor now. So a Glaceon Garbodor deck. He really doesn't like abilities. I feel like this would have been better suited for, uh, for Professor Red than me. As long as I get a draw support, I should say. Right now, Cyrus does me no good. I'm going to have to Guzma next turn and Blade GX. Yep, for sure now. But I don't even think I have to play my Garbodor now. He's got Garbodor there. Why would I need to play Garbodor? I guess so I can control abilities. But it looks like the only ability here today is Glaceon GX, that freezing gaze. As long as this Pokemon is your active, your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX do not have abilities. Uh, huh, so this is going to be a fun match. He's actually playing, my weakness, Potown. Another, another thing that doesn't really hurt me. We get the float, so like the question is, do we want to float? Or do we want a Guzma? We're going to Guzma. This thing is heavy. Yeah, that thing is heavy. We're just going to play GX. Take a prize, take a prize. And metal energy. So we're just, we have too much energy right now and no ways, no max elixirs, um, no beast energies to really get them away. Professor Sigmore, he's looking for that uh, float stone. Honestly, I think we're looking for, uh, we're just drawing all our energies right now. We play 11 energies and we're drawing all of them. Maybe I should have, uh, should have, should have, uh, played this in my spot <laughs> that I was in last time. He's playing a lot of crushing hammers to try to deny energy. It's not working for him, though. He's got two tails on crushing hammers. And Garbodor is heavy. You need a float stone to move it. We get the Sycamore. Now that is questionable. Um, I might have to do it though. I think I'll have to do it. Uh, go ahead and throw the Float Stone down. I don't want to lose it. Cyrus does me no good right now. Um, I really want to like... I'll throw... Now nah, we'll sick more. I'm like, ah, I want to like throw one down. But like what I really want right now is a DCE. I don't need to throw that down though. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Grab our, uh, our dust shotter here. Because he can literally carry us to the game here. Um, I can ultra ball here. But what would I grab? Prism star maybe? Yeah, I really don't need the, uh, I'll just show him, like, I'm not, I don't care that I'm throwing away a whole line of, uh, that. But what we want is this Prism Star, I think. This is just, it's clunking up on me, and it usually doesn't, so this is a little weird. Um, if I had an energy, I'd throw it down, but I threw them all away. Um, I could retreat, but that does me no good. I'm going to keep Cartana up there for now. Yeah, Cartana's good up there. We'll keep the floats. We'll keep the floats in case we need them. Because right now I just feel like my best bet, he has a lot of, uh, ooh, he's playing a Glaceon Espeon Split, I think. Glaceon Espeon Split, that's what it seems. But his Espeon is prized. So this is why I held the floats. But he's bringing in the thing that's okay. That makes no sense, but I'll accept it. So I really don't have to put a lot of energy on these guys here. Like, the, the Claw Slash is going to do massive damage here. Another one of those. Um, eh, why not? I have a ton of energy in the discard pile. Three to be specific. Um, I think I'm going to throw a float here. 
And how heavy are you? I want to throw another thing on you. And for Cartana, what do I want with Cartana? It's use it or lose it, man. It's use it or lose it. Uh, which one's heavier? This guy's heavier. He's probably not. Yeah, he is actually. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and thin the deck a little bit. We'll grab our Celesteela. Something to put the energy on. And then Sycamore here. Really? There's four max elixirs, and you decide that, like, I... No, you just don't get them. Um, so there's three. One, two, three, four. What's the attack say? For each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. So we get four. We could throw away another energy so that we could get it up. Um, but what would I search for, really? I think I got all the Pokemon out of here. I think we'll keep the Lele. Uh... Just in case, just in case. So we'll grab that other Lele, I guess. Why not? I'm just trying to get clear the deck a little bit there. Get another float stone. Um, we're going to go ahead and retreat into the Prism Star. And just Radiant Star, try to get set up here. One, two, three, and four. Uh, we're going to put two on Stila. And two on Duskman. Now we are we spread our energy, and I think that's still the best option because Duskman can hit for two hundred. Like just vanilla, he can hit for two hundred. They're gonna end us down to five. This is a very stally game. A very stally game. Ooh, we get the multi-switch. I like it when that happens. We got another energy. We got a Dusk Man, so we can't use our Ultra Space. And we can't use our Cyrus because we threw it away. We threw away our Cyrus, but he doesn't seem to be too useful in this name, in this uh, match. What really seems like I'm going to have to do here is he's going to do some damage probably to the Dusk Man and the Sogaleo. Sorry for the bump. Um... But, okay, he's trying to double that up. He's trying to get some damage on the... Okay, so that's what he's trying to do, is take out this with that. So he probably has a, uh, a Guzma. But look at that. We get that energy without even trying. Ooh, we could have just went into Kartana and just wrecked. Um, but we don't need to. Uh, I'm going to throw this energy down on... Uh, who do I want to attack? Celesteela is just a beast. Never mind. Who do I want to attack? Celesteela is a beast, man. That's who you want to attack. So he's going to try to take out our, our Dusk main, but he's not even our strongest. He's not even what's going to be winning this match for us. Uh, in fact, I almost feel like going into Celesteela now. And just wrecking this Glaceon. And we'll go into Dust Shot, though. We'll go into the Dusk, dusk Shotter. Um, so we could throw down another Dusk Main, but we do we really need to yet? I don't think we need to till next turn. We're just going to Rusty Claws. It's a clean KO. Clean KO. It's metal. Metal on ice, guys. Metal on ice. There's our Max Elixir. There's a Beast Energy. That's actually things. That's actually things. Um... Max Elixir we have not been able to find. We found one. We actually hit it, though. Which is surprising, considering how much energy we had on the board. But, uh... Yeah, we couldn't find any Max Elixirs. I wonder if the other three are Max Elixirs, too. Or Beast Energies or stuff. So this thing's gonna try to second bite? Or is it gonna... Does he have the Guzma? Is he gonna retreat and then... I don't know how many... How many uh, items do I have in here? Three? Four? Four items? Yeah, we're not going to play any more items then. We don't need to. We honestly do not need to play any more items, so I don't think we're going to. There is a crushing hammer that worked. I think I'm just going to multi-switch to the active, though. <laughs> and go for the knockout. Yeah, we'll like, multi-switch this guy up here. Because he's going down anyways. We might as well just multi-switch that energy off of him. 
Throw down a beast energy somewhere. Yeah, that's the question. Beast energy, is it better on Kartana or Celesteela? Um, Celesteela here claim 160 that way. Um, this thing has 210 now though. So we'll put it on Celesteela. Oh, that's still playing an item though. We're boosting his attack to 100. Is that what I want to do? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. It's weird. It's it feels weird, but it's. I still think the right play. Um, I don't want to boost it to 120 with Max Elixir, but I do want to boost it. Uh, so we'll take this out as well and get another two prizes due to weakness, and then we just got to get one more prize. Hey, there's our other Travish and an Ultra Ball. I don't not sure what YSD can really do here to me now. There's no energy on his board except for the one for Eevee. He's not taken a single prize. So I'm very denying of that. He's gonna throw away that beast energy. That's fine. Didn't really get to use it unfortunately, but um I kind of figured that would happen. So he's because he's getting his SB on. Why would you throw the DC there if this one's gonna attack? I like where you're going with it, but I can just retreat. Um, here is where I can just Guzma though too. Uh, he has 120. He has 100. All right, so this is where it looks like we're at. Yep. Did not hit the energy. It's kind of what I needed to do, um, but I can always Guzma and then go back into this guy, and that's what we're going to do. I will finish it right here, Lele, for one of our two Guzmas. I'm going to Guzma up the Garbodor, bring up our uh, Sogaleo. Get possessed by Necrozma and Rusty Claws. There we go. And there is the game. I'm still king. Um, so I'm not sure who I'm facing next. It's either going to be PK Light or Professor Red again. Um, just due to the fact that Professor Red was the beginning of the King of the Hill tournament. Uh, but not bad, not bad. Here is what YSD was playing an Espeon. Glaceon mix with some Garbodor action. Um, interesting deck, very uh, very centric on removing of energies. He just missed a couple of heads there. Um, that probably would have set me back a lot further. And as well as he plays a lot of Psychic Energy, having that Espeon prized really hurt him, I'm sure. Um, there you guys go, if you guys wanted to look at an Espeon Glaceon. I think YZ so much for setting up the King of the Hill tournament, to be honest, and for losing to me. Obviously, not nah, kidding. Uh, it was a great match. Uh, just things didn't quite go your way, and I think, like, I, I realized the, the energy denial right away uh, and said, you know what? Uh, Dusk Main Necrozma is not my play today. It's not, don't discard your energies. And so, with, with that mixed with, like, you know, this guy, I, I knew factually that. Without a, a dumbbells on Glaceon, Rusty Claws is just a clean knockout on it. Um, but I want to thank YSD so much, and uh, I look forward to seeing who gets the face off against me next. And uh, I'm going to go make my, my thumbnail now, guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you on another video. Bye-bye.